tranen. Gisteren vond de opening van de nieuwe productiefaciliteit van Fernandes Bottling Company plaats. De slogan van Fernandes tijdens deze opening luidt als volgt. Oude Bakagiu. Wij nemen u mee naar het betoogmoment van de directeur van Fernandes Bottling Company, de heer Alvin Venetian. Today we embark on an exciting journey. The official opening of our new factory. It's a memorable occasion, one that represents our resilience, collaboration, and the unwavering spirit of our team. I vividly recall the night of June 30th, 2021, standing here with my team alongside Shul, Maureen, and Brian, looking at the devastating fire that was basically eating away our production facility. The fire department worked hard and after hours of effort, they finally got the fire under control. However, our production capability was lost and it was now a matter of finding ways to survive. But from that darkness emerged a renewed spirit of resilience and determination. We informed our contacts within the Coca-Cola system and immediately started a dialogue with them about how to recover, how long it would take, and how we could import from fellow bottlers in the meantime. We owe Francisco Moreta, who is unfortunately not here today, from Coca-Cola, a lot of gratitude for helping us sort out the import options which resulted in sorting out of Trinidad, St. Lucia, Barbados, and Guyana. I want to thank those bottlers for supplying us in the two and a half years period. That's CBTTL from uh, Trinidad, Heineken from St. Lucia, Coscap from uh, Barbados, and Banks from Guyana. I want to thank you for using your capacity to produce for us. It was essential for our survival. And yes, give them a big hand, please. We received a lot of help from the Coca-Cola system. Uh, financial help, especially in the beginning, but also essential advisory help on how best to organize ourselves as an import and distribution company. I must also say we were fortunate we got help from all over. One example was Paul Kohler, I'm not sure if, he's, if he made it, from Kohler Befe, who brought us in contact with insurance experts, loss adjusters from Trostwijk Befe. Uh, and this was very important because Trostwijk helped us to secure the, uh, uh, a fair insurance claim payout that was you know, able to go towards financing, uh, building the new building. Uh, Cola Befe led the demolition uh, efforts. We rallied our forces and embarked on the monumental task of rebuilding. We immediately started looking at how we would do a complete rebuild of the plant, and of course, some modernization. It was a particularly challenging project because we had never done this before. I mean, we are producers. Um, the project represented a, a significant investment. Uh, we spent close to $30 million uh, dedicated to rebuilding and modernization. The scale of the effort was immense, with a vast amount of materials utilized and a multitude of contractors uh, engaged. Uh, we, for instance, we uh, used about 400 tons of steel and about 1,800 uh, cubic meters of, uh, of concrete in, uh, in this building. So this endeavor would not have been possible without the support and collaboration of many individuals amongst our employees, our contractors, partners, and suppliers. 
I'm going to name some, and probably I'm going to forget some, so forgive me for that. But I would like to start with Giovanni Linger, who used to be our uh, corporate planning manager. He, in 2021, additionally, took the role of the project manager for the rebuild, was instrumental in the early stages of engineering and design. Unfortunately, in I think it was March 2022, we parted ways with uh, Giovanni, uh, and then we quickly had to contract Eric Maas from Curacao. Not sure if he made it as well to the, tonight. He took over the project manager's role and brought a lot of order and structure to the project activities because they were many, plentiful, and took the role as well of the bad cop, uh, I was the good cop, he was the bad cop, to keep things moving, trying to meet our various milestones and goals. I have to thank Oliver and Dave and their teams from Firm Engineering, taking on the role of architect and engineering firm for a project where we started construction while the design was far from finished. The design packages, were being finalized, finalized as late as uh, October 2023, so last year. So they had a lot of patience with us, and I really want to thank them for it. We have to mention from their teams, Vina and uh, Naomi as well. They were the main contacts for our firm and engineering for the project, and they, they logged a lot of extra hours. All their extra hours logged to make sure that things went well, we had a lot of back and forth discussions on what the best choices would be for certain situations. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your patience with us. I have a lot of gratitude as well for the Fernandez Bottling employees that took on project roles. We didn't have production, so I asked most of the production guys to take coordination roles within the project. But of course, they're not used to that. So I'm gonna name some names. Silana was instrumental. Anthony, Fishnu, Ruben, Eric, Ronnie, Robbie, Lija, Raisha. And last but definitely not least, our uh, coordinator, Ferdinand, or Freddy, for a <laughs> round of applause for that. Our supply chain, supply chain group, led by Brian Rose and Marciano, did an excellent job of bringing about 90 individual shipments into Suriname, alongside all of the shipments that we were handling for the import. Um, they did a tremendous job of uh, organizing that in a relatively uh, short time span. Uh, thank you very much for jumping in the, in the deep with us. President Chandrika Prasad Santoki van de Republiek Suriname was gisteren ook aanwezig bij de opening van de nieuwe productiefaciliteit van Fernandes Bottling Company. Tijdens deze opening kwam ook de president aan het woord. Wij nemen nu naar een kort betoogmoment van president Chandrika Prasad Santoki. When I was welcomed from the front of this building. I was introduced in the several sections of the hall. And I was trying to give all the halls, the people, the culture, the expression, the message, a place. And I was guided by Mr. Fernandez in this tour before entering the main hall. And I saw the history, 85 years of history of Fernandez, the founders, the family, but I saw also their contributions in the 85 years. 
I saw all the colors of the nation Suriname. I saw all the colors of the United Suriname. I saw all the colors of the people, the colors which are binding us. Uh, yesterday there was an example of Holy Pagwa, where there were so many colors thrown to all the people that you couldn't make any difference who was who and who's belonging to which group. And Fernandez, you have your contribution in strengthening the nation building in our beautiful country by representing all the colors. And 85 years. of history, and that was one of the other second or third section of the hall. And a media team was there, and they surprised me with a question, what, President, what is your message if you see all the figures, the Coca-Cola as a product, and what can you say about the Coca-Cola? And my answer was, Fernandez is more than a Coca-Cola. <laughs> Fernandez has a legacy of corporate production. That's a legacy of social corporate. That's a legacy of producing food which is affordable for the community. Producing drinks which is accessible for everyone and you can find it in every part of our territory. And Fernandez, the name is a legacy. Fernandez has created a brand, a historical brand, which cannot be destroyed by a fire. Which cannot be destroyed by a fire. And yes, Fire is creating a threat, uncertainty in people's life, in people's business. But that is the material side of the life. But fire gives you very often also inspire to go further. The fire is also a signal that material things can be destroyed, but from the fire we are deriving new energy to continue and to make your company with that new energy bigger and smarter. And that happened. And that's what you have done with your team, to make the company bigger, smarter, and you continue with your legacy. Ladies and gentlemen, Fernandez, yes, Coca-Cola, it's a very delicious drink. I just visit a person in my living area, Lady Dora, a couple of days ago, over the 95 years. And when I came there, nice talk, and they asked me, what I want to drink. I said, just a glass of water. No, they brought a glass of Coca-Cola for me. <laughs> that was his best drink. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, Fernandez as a company 
is contributing and providing job opportunities for a lot of Sudanese people and giving the family of the, all those laborers an income, stability, hope, and a good future. That's the rule. What a lot of people are not seeing directly that behind the Coca-Cola, Fernandez is building a resilient community with values, but also with their social corporate strategy and activities. Fernandez Group, as a big company, is contributing also to the development of the country. And also, particularly in this time of the government policy in expanding and strengthening the economic growth. So yes, Fernandez is more than a company. Fernandez is a legacy which we have to recognize with respect and dignity.